good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra, my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? I know, I know I've been away for a while. I've just been, look, it's been busy, yeah? You know, I work full time, it's just been busy. So I had to concentrate on getting stuff done for work because I've taken today and tomorrow off from work. So I've got some time just to catch up on some of my videos. So you might see hopefully a video a day, at least for the next four days from me now, because I'm trying to do a video each day. Hopefully, cross fingers. How are we all doing anyway? You all, you all doing all right? Good, 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 good. So today I am doing an unboxing, as you may have already ascertained from my bare face <laughs> and from the title of the video. So I am doing one of the subscription boxes that I've signed up to this year. This box belongs to the family of black owned beauty boxes that I have signed up to. And the box I'm doing today is the black box. Right, there we go, it's this one here. So this is the fourth box that I've done now. Um, this box comes out every two months. It costs 40 pounds, so I know that sounds a lot, but when you see what we get inside the box, you understand. The 40 pounds is not paid all in one go. How the owner does this, that the owner's name is Abby. She's, um, she's, she's located in Denmark. How she does this is that she takes out 20 pounds each month. So each month, 20 pounds comes out of your account to pay for the box. So my last box was in May. And I think um, the box is available for everybody in Europe. So wherever you are in Europe, you can get it. So you, you'll be paying in kroners, in euros, in sterling, and in whatever other currency you may have in your country. If you live in another country, so outside of the European territory, you can get hold of the box. All you need to do is to go onto the website or go onto Instagram and reach out to the black box. I'll put all the details up on the screen so you know how to um, how to contact the owner and then she'll work out with you how she can ship the box to you. So, but for now, the subscription service is for those of us in Europe. But if you want the box and you live in another country outside, just get in touch with Abby and she'll work something out with you. So it's it's still accessible to everybody. And I do think if you're living, say for example, in the Caribbean or in the continent of Africa somewhere and you want this box, get on and contact Abby, all right? Because this box is good. Um, I reached out to her the other day just to get a heads up on what's coming inside the box, just so I know how to present myself for this video um, I said no is there going to be any makeup um, is it going to be a hair you know can I put my braids in that sort of thing what do I know she said look there's going to be something for everything so I thought right you know what I wash my hair took my braids out wash my hair my face is bare so we're just going to see what's inside this box but before I go on to do that um, there are, there's a couple of things that I must make sure I mention because I always forget to mention this. So with the black box, um, as I said, the subscription, it's 40, it's, well, as I've already said, the subscription is 40 pounds or 175 kroners, which she splits up over a monthly basis. But you also do get reward points once you subscribe to the box. So if you subscribe, you get 10 points automatically just for subscribing straight away. If you do a review of the of the black box, if you do it on YouTube like I do, on, on Facebook, on Instagram, however you do it, you get a further 20 points. Right, I can hear the ice cream van, so you know what time of day it is, don't you? My ice cream van always comes around between three and four, so you know what time it is. It's a bit of a giveaway for me, really, isn't it? Right, so you get 20 points if you do a subs um, you get 20 points if you do a review. Doesn't matter how the review is, but if you do a review, let her know you've done a review you get 20 points. Once you've got 60 points, let me get this right, because she did tell me actually, let me just make sure I get the right information. Um, right. Okay, subscribers can use points to get additional products in their boxes, so that would be 60 points. Um, a chance to build their own box by choosing the products themselves is 90 points, yeah? So you can build up your own box for yourself. And you can also earn a free box, 150 so it's quite a lot of, a lot of points to to um to get a free box so you definitely gonna have to be subscribed for over a year but hey you know how it goes all right shall we crack on and do this before i go into this month's box because i've already cut into it 
make things easier for myself just going to do a quick review of my May box the products I've got in my May box so as per usual I write it down so what we got so the first thing we got right so we got seven things in in the May box first thing was um Cristel Cosmetics clarifying toner which is this which I have started using I've been starting to use it in the last couple of weeks it's just a gentle toner um, which is great for someone like me because I have oily skin blemishes and that sort of thing so clarifying balancing toners are the kind of things that I like to use so as you can see I have started using it so that was good and also from the same brand we did get this from Cristal Cosmetics and it was a, um, a sebum balancing moisturizer so it's like that when you put this on it is a hydrating um, moisturizer well, when you put it on it has a drying effect I, mean, I don't know if you can see on my face but it's got a kind of drying effect so it's almost like it does control the the um, the sebum the oil on your face straight away so it does leave it's almost like a primer when you put it on so that's actually quite cool also got a let's have a look oh yes this is a brand that's doing the rounds at the moment in quite a few of the subscription boxes and this is um, Born Beautiful Naturals. So this is a company, again, black owned, and it's based in Birmingham. So Birmingham in the UK. And they do a whole range of hair products. So I know that um, Odyssey Box did a whole box on it recently. I didn't get the box because I've already got quite a few hair products already. But they did them. I know Discovery Box did a few um, products inside the box as well. So in this case, this is a balm, a hair balm, and I've actually really enjoyed using this. And it's going to last ages. As you can see that. So it's very much sheer butter and some other oils in there as well. But again, all natural, organic products, and it smells gorgeous as well. So I've just been using it as um, a moisturizer to put in my hair. Great product, absolutely lovely. What else was there? There was also from the same brand, Born Beautiful Naturals. Um, I received a knot free detangling spray, and you know where that ended up, don't you? I think I managed to use it twice, and I haven't seen it since. Uh, it's in my daughter's room. My daughter's 19, teenager, and uh, any hair products, if she gets hold of it, I'm never going to see it again. So she's got it, she's enjoyed it all good um I, I literally i'm actually thinking about just getting her a hair subscription box just for herself really because <laughs> just the way how she goes through products it's incredible um and we also got two makeup products in the box so we got a makeup prediction enchanted highlight i don't know if i've got that here it was a little i haven't got it here where have i put it I haven't got it with me so it was a little um it was a little pot and it was a, like a golden um a golden bronze powder pigment very concentrated and in in the video i did for that month i did put a little bit on my eyes and i put some on my cheeks as well so it's it's described as a highlighter but it's something you could use in all those areas very very concentrated I must admit i've only used that probably maybe once or twice i'm just not that fond of loose powder pigment products i mean that one is designed okay because it's got a little sifter so you can control how it comes out i just don't normally like using them it's just not so easy for me to use them it's easier for me just to reach for um a palette and go for that it's just it's laziness it literally is just plain laziness on my half but it's a really nice product it's just not something i've reached for so it'll probably be in my possession for a long time and the other thing that we got was a brush and have i got the brush down here by the same brand makeup addiction and it was a brush they called it a fluffy brush um multi-purpose i would say i have and again i haven't really used that either because the, the the use of it is not quite clear it's not it's not quite one thing or another and because i have got a hell of a lot of brushes down here and i've got them all separated into use i know what i'm going for each time um, and that one hasn't where is it is it here let me see if it's here so i can show it to you rather than just i haven't got it with me it's not here it might be upstairs actually I haven't got it here but it's just not something i've reached for either which is a shame but again perfectly good brush it's just that i am sport for brushes so i know i haven't used it that much and again because i'm working from home i haven't, I haven't been wearing makeup that much anyway i mean i do wear makeup but not every day not every day i need to use something where i'm using a brush you know what i mean all right so that was the last box so let's move on to this july black box 
let's get in there it's actually quite warm i had my air conditioning on for a bit and i turned it off because it does make so much noise but now i'm getting warm again <sighs> right so this is what the box looks like on the inside yep can you see that and we've got um we've got a leaflet there but I just want to get all the cards out first because she does normally put quite a few little cards in here. Abby always does a handwritten note, so I'm just going to do that. So it says, hey Sandra, your July black box is finally here. And to thank you for your patience, we've included some Danish treats for you to enjoy. <laughs> you know what I'm like when it comes to sweeties. I can't wait to hear what you think of this edition, Abby. All right, that's cool. Well, yeah, as soon as I hear sweets, I'm all good. Well, I'm assuming it's sweets because it can't, be, it can't be something that's not um, that's perishable, can it? So we've got a card here from a brand called Novel Beauty. So it looks like their skincare, novelskincare.co.uk. So that looks interesting. All right, I'll keep that there. And what's this? Complete your story, get 10% off of use discount code skin story so that's the same brand and we've got a discount code there so take a note of that so when we come across the products if you decide you want them use that code okay right let's go in here okay I've just seen some very interesting look but I'll go through that in a minute let's uh, go through in here first oh that looks interesting this is why she was saying I, I don't need anything all right so the first item here is oh yeah I've got to say so with <laughs> sorry you can tell I haven't done a video for a while with um, the black box um, you do build up your own beauty profile and that's something you need to do as soon as you subscribe the first thing they do is start going through um, some questions with you to build up who you are so the first thing they ask you is your skin tone so basically what skin coloring you come into this box is specifically for women of a darker deeper skin tone um, so that's who it's targeted at and it makes it clear that that's who it's targeted at so the first thing it does ask for is your skin tone so if I remember correctly they've got like a medium kind of skin tone what people might call an olive skin tone and they've got a tan then they've got a dark and then they've got deep so they ask you sort of which range do you go into so when I did it I clicked into dark because that's where I, I'd go into deep would be um, something like Nima Tang so that would be like the deep yeah so I'd fall into that dark range then they ask you about your hair type no they don't they ask you your skin tone then what kind of skin have you got so is it oily is it dry is it sensitive do you have acne so all those things and you just tick what bit you go into so I obviously picked that I've got oily skin and some hyperpigmentation as we can see um, then it asks you about your hair type so what type of hair have you got um, is it sort of type 3 hair or type 4 hair um, do you wear your hair in weave so all these different categories do you hair your hair do you wear your hair out natural like I have at the moment for C do you wear it in braids do you wear it as a weave and the reason why they ask that is, is because of the hair products they're putting in they'll make sure it's something appropriate for you um, and they ask you about colors what kind of colors do you like do you like lipsticks and all that sort of thing so the box can be made as um, applicable to you and as tailored to you as possible so that's what I like about it, it is a fairly customized box um, the products they give inside the box there'll be products in there for everybody so everybody will get it and then there'll be some products in there for your particular skin type or hair type or whatever so she does try to tailor the box as much as possible to the individual receiving it. Right, let's crack on. So the first thing we've got here is something that everybody's going to get. So she says for all. And it's from Novel Skincare and it's a facial cleanser. So let's see if I can find that. Okay, so here we go. This is it, I believe. Right, so this is it. This is Novel Skincare. It's a Q10 facial cleanser. It's worth 168 Danish kroners, um, 20 pounds or 23 euros. So this coenzyme cleanser rejuvenates your skin cells by boosting cell activity, such as collagen production, resulting in fresher and healthier looking skin. Use your fingertips to gently smooth the cleanser onto your face and neck and remove with a damp cloth and pat dry. Oh, I've never heard of this before. So this is what it looks like. 
I can't open it guys. I can't open it. Yeah, that's not a good start. You gotta think about us with our arthritic hands, but you need a bloody muscles like that to open this. Wait a minute. Alright, got it, got it. I thought I was gonna have to go and get my husband to open it just then. So there you go. It's a fairly creamy looking liquid. I'm just gonna take some from the lid. Uh, it's not too fragrant, it's actually quite creamy. Yeah, so you can just put it on like that, wipe it in. It is actually quite creamy, it's not greasy, it's just very creamy. Okay, so that's the first product, I'll give that a try. Um, I must admit I'm a bit wary about it, because I, I always think anything that feels like, like that, I always think is it going to be any good for my skin. But I tend to do... Um, double cleansing so I tend to use an oil cleanser first and to lift up all the dirt or the makeup off my face so use that to lift it all up and then I'll go in with a, a normally a facial foam cleanser of some sort to wash the product off so I do a double cleanse so I suppose this would come into my first cleanser maybe don't know I'm not sure where this would fit in so I don't know if this was my first cleanse or my second cleanse but wouldn't be willing to give it a try um, so that's for all. Then the next product is for normal, oily and combination skin and it's a novel skincare aloe retinol serum and it's worth 210 Danish kroners, 25 pounds or 28 euros and I think that's this. Oh this is very fancy looking. Oh look at this. It's got a bit of weight to it as well. Glass jar and that's it there. Wow. So this is a natural serum infused with pan-African plants and fruit extracts to lift and tone your skin. Aloe vera, jojoba, avocado and avocado provide a rich source of retinol working to smooth and brighten your skin. After cleansing, gently dab the serum onto your skin and blend in until fully absorbed. After applying, gently tap your face with your fingers to encourage the serum to penetrate to the deepest layers of your skin. Okay, so after you've put it on, sort of massaged it in, you then do that. I've seen people do that. You sort of just tap your skin like that. Yeah, all of that. Just to help it go into your skin, but you know, just beat your face up if you want to. So this is what it looks like. All right, at least that's easy to open. So it's got a little tab. Okay, so it's more like a gel. It's like a solid gel style serum. Oops. So I'm just going to take a little bit from here. That's what it looks like. Put it on. So this is quite rich. It's got a it's got a nice scent. Yeah, it's got a very pleasant scent. And yeah, it does absorb into the skin quite quickly. Okay, so that's interesting. Mm. I'm always into trying new skincare. I've got so much to work through, but I will make sure I start using that before well I'll finish up using this stuff if I can. Oh, actually, no, I can continue using this because I'm using this at the moment. So this, I, I can see me using that more at day, at night time because it's got retinol in it. So I will probably use it at night time. Okay, so that, that's interesting. Okay, um, then they've got a product for people who have got dry, sensitive and mature skin. And they would have got a vitamin ACE serum. So that's what they would have got. Right, moving on. Next we have something which everybody is receiving and that's from Pure Goodness and it's a two, two to one, two in one herbal cleanser and conditioner. So it's a two in one and it's worth 44 Danish krona, £5.25 or six euros. So that's this product here. So it's like a travel size. So it's a natural sulfate free cleanser that is perfect to use as a shampoo or co-wash. It thoroughly cleanses without stripping natural oils. While the herbs and oils condition your strands, leaving them clean and soft, used to thoroughly clean natural hair or to remove buildup in protective hairstyles. Okay, so that's cool. 
so what they call protective hairstyles is okay so my hair at the moment is in its natural state and to stop me from aggressively sort of abusing my hair by combing and brushing it and doing and applying heat to it every day we can do what's called a protective hairstyle so a protective hairstyle is where you put your hair in a style where you don't need to comb it every day and that would be something like braiding it cornrowing it putting braids in or sewing in a weave that way you can keep your hair under that under that thing you know under that protection for a, for a few weeks yeah still wash your hair and treat your hair as normal but you, your hair is not getting combed and brushed all the time gently cleanse his hair whilst nourishing the scalp sounds good and it's got peppermint and rosemary oils in there mmm okay that's what it looks like see what it smells like yeah I could definitely smell the peppermint in it mm, wow okay so that's good that'd be good to try out Let's see if I can get to it before my daughter does because once she sees that sayonara right next is a product for everybody as well and it's the leave-in conditioner which I've got here this creamy leave-in conditioner adds softness to the hair after washing made with organic shea butter it softens and moisturizes hair without leaving buildup um, Use, use after washing to help detangle natural hair or for protective hairstyles to add moisture to your scalp and the root of your hair. So there we go, that's the same thing. So that's a leave-in conditioner. So that's cool. Have a little smell. It's got a very, I was gonna say it's got a gentle smell, but once I took a second with, I could, I could smell it. Yeah, it's got it's got a nice smell. It does smell like natural oils and things. So like a combination of oils that I've got upstairs. So that smells good. Right. Looks like we've got some makeup going on here. So hence why she said leave my face bare. So here we go here. So this is for everybody. And we've got something here called Mo Mineral. And it's a super kabuki brush. So here's the brush. Oh, it's very pretty. That's a pretty looking brush. Mole Minerals. I do like the name actually. Mole Problem, Mole Money. That's nice. Okay, so this brush is worth 82 Danish kroner, 10 pound or 12 euros. This brush blends powdered makeup evenly on the skin, creating natural looking coverage used by swirling the brush into the lid of your foundation shade and buffing the powder into your skin using circular motions. Cool. Right, this is where it starts getting interesting, is the makeup. All right, so again from Mo Mineral, um, We've got, so for Mo Mineral, we've got a powder foundation samples here. So these samples are worth either 50 Danish kroners, six pounds or seven euros each. And it says here, achieve a flawless complexion with foundation made from natural vegan ingredients. This weightless, ultra fine loose powder glides on the skin smoothly, leaving a soft matte finish. The formula provides a sunscreen protection. So the, the formula provides sunscreen protection and a buildable medium to full coverage without blocking pores. This sounds really exciting, really exciting. Let me just show you the um, Danish treat she's got here. So we've got something from Denmark and it's Nordic wine gums, Wally and Wiz. <laughs> so that's my little treat, I'll do that in a minute. Right. Okay, this is the fun bit here. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Right. So what we have here are these Mo Minerals. And we've got some samples here of foundations. So there's four different sets you could get. You can get either a um, light warm set, which is for medium skin tones. Then there's a tan set for um, darker skin tones. Then you've got the deep, then you've got the dark set for deep dark skin tones which I'm assuming I fall into and then you've got the deep set for the deep dark the deepest dark skin tones and the shades it's got in here oh and they've all got these kind of cool sounding shades um I don't know if they mean anything they probably do so I need to see so we've got here we go let me show you my four 
Right, so grief. So this is what the little sets look like. There you go. So this one is what we got here. This one is Runko. Runko. Yeah, so I've got the dark set. So this shade is Runko, which I've just pulled out. They all, I have to admit, just looking at these pictures, I'm showing these pictures, they all look very red, but I'm not going to judge. They all look very warm, but I'm not going to judge until I put it on, because I've done that before and I've been completely wrong. So that's the first one. This next shade is Uzari, Uzuri, U-Z-U-R-I. Looks like that. Ohofe. Go and buy that one there, Ohofe. It sounds like they're sort of West African sort of names or words. They obviously mean something to somebody, but I, I don't know what they mean. So Ohofe. So that colour there. This one seems to have a lot more products in there. And the last colour is, oh, I don't know how to pronounce this, M-H-L-E, Mille. So this one here, Mille. So what I'm going to do, it's a good thing I've got this vest on today, I am going to do just some um, swatches on my chest and see what works best, yeah? We'll do it that way. I think that's the way to go. So let me get my wipes. Wipes at hand. Right, let's do the first one. So this first one is this Mille one. Okay. That's what it looks like. It's like a very fine powder. I'm just going to do it here. So that's what it looks like on my chest. I'm going to bring you in closer. So I've got a mirror just there so I can see. So I've probably brought you in a little bit too close. It's just that I want, to, want you to see the swatches on my chest. So this is the melee colour that literally is blending into my chest there let's see what it looks like on my face so that's the first one melee can you see that melee and that's it on my face there so i'm going to leave all of them to settle on my skin for a bit the next one is yuzuri so i'm going to do a swatch on my chest again that's what this shade looks like. So this is the Yuzuri. God, they're all kind of blending in, really. Right, so the first one is there. I don't know if you can see it, because it's literally blending in. That's the first one. This is this Yuzuri shade. And I'm going to put it on my face now, my lower, lower jaw. See, that doesn't look like it should work at all on my face. Doesn't look like it should work one bit. All right, so that's the second one. Next is the, what's it called? A hoffe. That kind of looks a little bit more like it might work for me actually this one here I'm right, just gonna swatch it on my chest oh here we go yeah I am kind of liking this one already because you can hardly see it and I'm putting it on yeah that color I don't know if you can see it but there is, believe it or not, there is a colour there. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. On my camera screen, it's almost like a blue light on my camera. But here, it looks like it's going into my skin perfectly. Just going to put it on my cheek, see if you can see it better. Yeah, this is my colour. Yeah, that's the one for me. Right, I know that already. Ohofe, that, this is the colour for me. 
okay but i'll do the last one see what that's like this color is the runako runako r-u-n-a-k-o runako it looks like that that color has literally just gone into my skin so i'm just going to do this one over here This is not a bad colour for me either, actually. I mean, they're all pretty good. But I'd still say this one, because you can hardly see it. This is the one in the middle. I mean, all four of those colours I would wear. If there was no choice in foundations, I would wear all four of those. Um, but when you can get a colour that literally disappears into your skin, which that one literally has near enough. I don't know how it's looking on camera, but it is. I'm just going to put this one over here. Right, so we've got four colours there. So that last one I put here and I put there, at the back there, because my skin's a bit darker at the back here. So I've put it in two places just to see how it absorbs in. That's the first one, which it's still standing out, so it's not good. The second one is still standing out on my skin. This is the third one, which you can hardly see. It literally is, just seems to be going straight into my skin there, so that looks good. And again, on my chest, one i can still see two i can just about see three has just disappeared it has literally disappeared i just want to make sure that i am looking at the right place yeah i am because it's on my fingers and four i can just about see so the last two on my chest look great but i'm going for that third shade which was ohofe so i'm going to put that on because i'm very impressed with that so let's wipe this all off and i'm going to come back on and put them all on right so my face is all bare now so i'm just going to put some of this ohofe shade of the mo minerals on my face not quite sure how i'm going to do this so i'm just going to pour it into the lid and hopefully that will be enough I mean, I am used to wearing powder foundation because I've been wearing Bare Minerals foundation for years. So I do know the principle with the Bare Minerals, you swirl, tap and you buff. Um, I just wish this was a, a bigger thing. So I'll just try and be careful in how I do this. Okay, All right, so it's on the brush. Let's put it on. All right, guys, what do you think? So I'm going to bring you in close. What do you think? So on this half of my face, I've got it on. This half of my face is nothing on. I can see the difference. That looks all right, doesn't it? That looks nice. It looks very natural and just looks like I've got good skin. It just looks like I've got clear, good skin. And it's matching pretty well. <laughs> Sorry. It's matching pretty well with my, my chest and my neck. I like that. So I'm just going to finish the rest of that up and then I'll come back to you at the end and give you my final thoughts on this box. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, I've done all my makeup. I had to disappear for a bit. Bit of an emergency in the kitchen. They needed my help, so I had to go off into the kitchen for a bit. But I've done all my makeup now. How's that powder mineral foundation looking? It looks all right, doesn't it? I mean, skin colouring wise, it's, it's all good it's all good it looks all right i mean the test for me now is just to see how well it wears so i'll probably report back on instagram to let you know how this has worn for the next few hours or so because it is warm it is summer and i do like to wear i used to always wear um 
Bare Minerals foundation during the summer because it had the SPF in it and it was light because I like wearing light foundations. This foundation, it goes on as a powder but it's actually quite creamy once you sort of smudge it in. Does that make sense? So uh, it's, it's not the same formula I would say as the Bare Minerals. It's not powdery powdery. It feels more creamy once it is on. But it looks all right it's settled in um all i've put on on top so i've put that foundation on top and um, i did a bit of concealer under my eyes i set under my eyes with a um, sort of like a banana powder which i've got in one of the beauty boxes over here it's like a yellowy colored powder the eyeshadow i put on was the one i got in my ipsy add-on which is that violet voss berry burst so i put that on um what else have i got on lip liner is the is the Revolution Beauty the color Glory lip liner? The lip color I've got, I do love this. Um, my friend Denise gave me this one, and this one she gave me two of them. It's from Pat McGrath because you know I can't afford Pat McGrath, so she gave me these two lip glosses, which are wonderful. I, there was three, I don't know where the third one is, but um, yeah, this color is the one I've got on. Um, it's gorgeous, really, really nice, very similar. <laughs> to the Revolution Beauty one but this one has just got a better colour to it um, what else have I got on the blush I've got on is from the Tammy collection the, the quartet from the Tammy collection and the bronzer I've got on is the Revolution Beauty no it's not it's the Morphe bronzer I've got on there so that's literally all I've got on there plus my benefit brows the usual and I put on some false eyelashes today because you know why not I feel like it but it it does it looks all right doesn't it i think it looks okay so yes it's just a case of testing it out for the rest of the day to see how it performs so overall i think this box again the black box don't forget it costs 40 pounds um i think again it's done pretty good if, if i say so myself now whilst i was waiting for the lashes and the glue to get tacky i thought i'd go on my phone quickly just to see a bit more about this foundation because i am intrigued now when it comes to foundation i'm always going to be intrigued so i looked at the website so it's momineral.co.uk i'll put it on the screen above the they've got a powder foundation so it's loose mineral foundation they've got it in 25 shades and it's all shades if i show you quickly i'll do a screenshot but it's all shades and it costs 15 pounds is that right it's 15 pounds so yeah if this is this is good i'd love to know where these shades come from and it is a black owned company but they have got shades for all skin colors hope you can see that there got my window right there but all skin colors i will put it on the screen above but hey i'm impressed i'm impressed so along with that so i've got the foundation we've got the cleanser here this new cleanser which i'm a bit bit wary about but I will let you know how I get on with it um, so because it's so creamy and I'm not sure if I'd get on with creamy cleansers but before I judge I will test it out so we've got this and we've got the serum to go with it in this kind of very beautiful kind of bougie jar um, we've got a two-in-one cleansing conditioner and we've got a leave-in conditioner here um, what was that and we've got the foundations foundation and the little kabuki style brush to go with it so for me 40 quid easily gone over that i don't know what the whole value of the thing is i'll put the total running value above but i mean i won't include the price of the samples because they're samples the samples are five pounds so i'll put the price of the foundation as five pounds but this box is well well over the 40 pounds and uh yeah i'm thinking i'm looking kind of kind of cool bit about the hair the hair's a bit of a mess but hey her what can you do and then um, i did manage to get <laughs> some of the powder on my top i'm such a messy so -so. this is why i don't like powder foundation because they're just messy unless it's got a proper sifty thing i will always guaranteed i will always make a mess of powder makeup it has to have that sifter thing for me to use it without making a mess all over the place but i am very pleased with this black box so once again it's kind of cool. All right, guys, take care.